Imagine a world where every online transaction zips through at breakneck speed, where waiting for long digital confirmations from your bank feels like a relic of the past. This isn't a far-off fantasy. It's the world Anatoly Yankovenko aimed to create with Solana, transforming blockchain into a powerhouse of speed and innovation. Anatoly Yankovenko didn't just notice the shortcomings of traditional blockchains, he saw a way to overcome them. His brainchild Solana isn't just another name in the tech world, it's a breakthrough, reshaping how we think about and use blockchain technology. This isn't only about blockchain or cryptocurrency, it's a journey into the head of innovation where courage meets creativity and the impossible becomes reality. It's about breaking barriers, redefining what blockchain networks can do, and carving a path where others see dead ends. But who exactly is Anatoly Yankovenko? Let's unravel his story, exploring how his vision and drive are revolutionizing blockchain technology, offering us a glimpse into a future where digital efficiency isn't just possible, but a daily reality. Anatoly Yankovenko's journey didn't start in the high-tech world of Silicon Valley. It began in Ukraine, far from the buzz of the digital age he later joined. As a kid, Anatoly was always more interested in gadgets and numbers than typical childhood games. He took this love for tech to the University of Illinois, where he didn't just study computer science, he became obsessed with it. Here, Anatoly got his hands dirty with the nuts and bolts of technology. He learned about programming, system design, and the intricate workings of computers. During his time at the University of Illinois, Anatoly gained hands-on experience in building software and engineering systems. He became well-versed in programming languages, algorithms, and data structures. This period of his life was about more than just acquiring knowledge. It was about fostering a deep passion for what technology could achieve. Anatoly's university years were more than theoretical learning. They were a playground for practical exploration. It was here that the seeds of his future in blockchain technology began to sprout. His experiences at the university laid the foundation for the groundbreaking innovations that he would later bring to the world of blockchain. During lectures, coding sessions, and collaborative projects, Anatoly Yankovenko was honing his skills and building the knowledge that would shape his remarkable journey in technology. Little did he know that his time at the University of Illinois would be a crucial chapter in the story of Solana, a blockchain platform that could revolutionize the entire world. From the lecture halls of the University of Illinois to the pioneering world of tech startups, Anatoly Yankovenko's early career was a journey of relentless pursuit and innovation. His first venture into the tech world began with Alisair, a voiceover internet protocol VOIP, startup that he founded while still in college. This early entrepreneurial spirit was a clear sign of his drive and future ambitions. After Alisair, Anatoly joined Qualcomm, the company that makes the high-performance processors and microchips and cell phones. This marked a significant chapter in his career. At Qualcomm, he wasn't just another engineer. He was a visionary, playing a crucial role in the development of operating systems and various innovative projects like virtual and augmented reality products and 3D cameras. His more than a decade at Qualcomm saw him earn patents for high-performance operating systems and even contribute as a core developer for Brew, which powers over over 100 million devices around the world. But Anatoly's ambitions reached beyond Qualcomm. His subsequent roles at Mesosphere and Dropbox, where he focused on distribution systems and compression, respectively, further honed his skills and prepared him for his groundbreaking venture in blockchain technology. Now, as we move from these formative experiences to the creation of Solana, we see the culmination of Anatoly's skills vision, and unrelenting drive in the face of tech industry challenges. When I first had the idea of what we wanted to build, I thought what was really interesting about the space is that it's a smart contract platform, it's an open platform for developers to, to write new kinds of software that didn't exist before, and two is that it synchronized global information as fast as possible because that also doesn't exist. You have all these marketplaces around the world, no matter how fast they are, they're very localized and kind of the faster they are, it's kind of actually worse for a hobbyist or any external user because there's somebody that's paying $10 million to NASDAQ to get priority access. 
and you don't have the opportunity to do that even, even if you had the, the money. To me, that felt like that's an unfair environment and blockchain, Byzantine fault tolerance, it can actually enforce fairness. That's pr primarily the, you know, the two constraints in the system. How do we make it as fast as physics allow at, at like synchronizing information? How do we make it an open developer platform? Solana's story began with Anatoly Yankovenko's late night bursts of inspiration. As he describes it, I literally had two coffees and a beer, and I had this eureka moment at four in the morning. He envisioned a super fast blockchain platform, drawing from his experiences at Qualcomm and high performance computing. He envisioned a blockchain platform that processed transactions at the speed of light. If you want to learn more about the eureka moment that Anatoly had, be sure to check out our Web3 learning resources section in the description of this video. In late 2017, Anatoly released a draft white paper on proof of history, POH, a method to efficiently organize transactions within a blockchain. He then collaborated with former Qualcomm colleagues, Greg Fitzgerald and Stephen Ackridge, contributing ideas to enhance transaction performance of their new creation. Together, they developed a proof of history blockchain testnet, with the first official paper and testnet launched in February 2018, evolving into what we now know as Solana Labs. This was also like obvious to me, but not obvious to a lot of folks that we were competing with. So basically there was kind of like 2017 cycle of a lot of consensus optimizations. Even if you could magically solve consensus, if you have like a limit order on OpenBook or Phoenix or whatever, and you want that order to be fairly distributed to everyone that cares about that order, you gotta propagate the data around the world. So even if consensus at zero cost, you're dealing with the application information that needs to be fully propagated. So to me, I thought like, what does it matter if you optimize consensus if you still have to build this pipeline for propagating like all the messages from all the applications to everyone else? And you still have to build a pipeline for receiving messages from all the applications in a high throughput way as fair as possible. So you, if you solve those two problems, to me it seemed trivial to build the consensus messaging layer as just another smart contract. Solana's technical innovation is highlighted by its unique single chain approach. This is unlike Ethereum's approach, which involves many layer two blockchains. This single chain approach focuses on high speed and efficiency. You can compare Solana and Ethereum to various types of freeways. Solana is akin to a single high speed bullet express lane, whereas Ethereum is a multi-lane highway. The Solana Virtual Machine, SVM, can execute multiple tasks simultaneously. Unlike Ethereum's Virtual Machine, EVM, which handles one task at a time, contributing to Solana's faster and more efficient operations. However, the launch of Solana's digital currency, Sol, was not without controversy. The initial distribution of Sol tokens was heavily centralized, favoring insiders, which led to concerns about fairness and the long-term health of Solana's economy. The launch of Solana in March 2022 marked the beginning of a new era in blockchain technology, one that would see transactions confirm in the blink of an eye and for less than a penny in transaction costs. In the early stages of Solana, from 2020 to 2023, the journey was marked by both significant achievements and challenges. The platform saw a surge in recognition in 2021, particularly when FTX decided to invest in Solana, leading to what many called Solana Summer, where all projects on Solana were going up in price and everyone was drinking the get-rich-quick Kool-Aid. However, the crypto world's volatility soon took no prisoners, with a potential combination of bear market blues and legal issues for Sam Bankman-Fried, the former CEO of FTX. Solana also faced technical issues, notably network outages, a denial of service attack where the system is overwhelmed with a flood of internet traffic, caused a significant 17-hour downtime in September 2021. The Solana blockchain literally stopped processing blocks and just stood there, frozen in time and space for an entire day. 
This outage, along with others in the following year, put the platform's reliability to the test. If you want to learn more about these network outages that happened to Solana, be sure to check our Web3 Learning Resources section in the description of this video. Despite these setbacks, Solana began to find its footing by taking inspiration from Ethereum and deploying a fee market, which helped to stabilize and subsequently grow the platform. And by 2023, Solana hosted over 6,000 smart contracts, showing considerable adoption. Looking ahead, Solana has a long and promising roadmap that aims to enhance Solana's security, infrastructure, and speed. Even with these tough early days, Solana has continued to keep growing and improving. The whole purpose of Solana that I thought was really, at least it would be valuable to the world, is that we can create fair markets at the core information level. As Solana made it through the initial challenges, things began to look up. The commitment of its diverse community of developers, entrepreneurs, and enthusiasts played a crucial role in the platform's growth and adaptation. Another major development was Jump Trading's involvement with the Fire Dancer project, set to significantly enhance Solana's network speed and reliability. Launching the Fire Dancer project is one of the most exciting moments in Solana's journey and is expected to come in 2024. Many think it's almost like a superhero upgrade for Solana, making it faster, stronger, and cheaper. And it's not just about speed. Fire Dancer is also about making sure Solana is more reliable. It really impacts all the users, all the applications being built on Solana, all the DeFi stuff, um, and that sucks. And the only way to like fix it is to like you know fix those bugs and build a second client. I don't know if uh, folks have heard, but we have actually a separate team from the ground up rewriting the Solana pr protocol in a separate language. So when there's a, a memory leak or something like that that brought down the network, the probability of, of it being in both clients is virtually zero. By the end of 2023, Solana experienced a remarkable resurgence in the crypto market with a substantial increase in the value of the SOL token. This has many investors excited about investing in Solana, especially through their retirement accounts. For US investors, they can open a crypto IRA at iTrust Capital and buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrencies like Solana with tax benefits. If you want to learn more about iTrust Capital and crypto retirement accounts, make sure to check our Web3 Learning Resources section in the description of this video. Solana's journey, with its mix of challenges and achievements, reflects the dynamic nature of the blockchain industry. Its commitment to innovation and efficiency continues to shape its future, positioning Solana at the forefront of a new era in blockchain technology. As we come to the end of our journey through the world of Anatoly Yankovenko and Solana, we find a story of incredible resilience and innovation. Solana, led by Yankovenko, has become a faster and more efficient blockchain, even in the face of challenges. Looking forward, Solana has the ability to empower an entirely new generation of entrepreneurs to build new companies and products that are decentralized, secure, and fast. It's a testament to the power of creativity and determination, showing that in the world of technology, change is constant and imagination has no limits. If you want to learn more about the pioneers that are creating the Web3 ecosystem, then make sure that you subscribe to our channel for more upcoming documentaries. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to learn more about the Web3 ecosystem, then make sure you click the video that's on screen now. As we hit the brakes on this story, remember that the Web3 world is still buzzing with innovation that we haven't even dreamed up yet. So keep the curiosity ticking, learn a thing or two along the way, and let's keep exploring this tech playground. Stay tuned and enjoy the ride into what's next.